Hey guys, HDV here and welcome to a brand new video. Today we've got some really exciting news to go over for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. Riddler Koo has posted a bunch of new riddles and leaks for the Generation 9 games for us to decipher and take a look at. So exciting times. If you're excited for the video though, as always, make sure to drop a like down below. Let's try and hit 500 likes, it really helps out. Leave a comment with your thoughts on anything we cover in today's video. What do you think the new riddles mean? Let me know. Subscribe if you're brand new for daily Pokemon content. Ring the notification bell. With all of that out of the way though, let's get into the video and I really hope that you enjoy. So, starting things off, as you can see, Riddler Koo has posted a bunch of tweets in the last 24 hours. And a lot of people are thinking that these are related to the starter typings for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. So Sprigatito, Fue Coco, and Quaxley's final evolution typings. So this was the first thing that Riddler Koo tweeted uh, yesterday saying, you know too much because of my generosity after this. So obviously this is a screenshot from Pokemon Masters, but how Riddler Koo does these is there's just a bunch of hints in the image. So obviously we have like uh, a number here. We have Centro there. So I think that's just kind of like I don't know, call out to Centro. We have some items here. Now, I don't play Pokemon Masters, so I'm not sure what these items are. Um, but again, a lot of people have kind of gone into deciphering these and stuff and, and kind of seeing what this like they think they're seeing and stuff. So obviously, we're going to cover all that. Um, and then we have Cynthia. We have, I think this is the male protagonist trainer. And then obviously, we have uh, N as well. We have Garchomp here, Regirock. We have Zekrom. Um, so potentially, these could be um, the final evolution typings, which again, we're going to get into in a second. And then we have some icons down here. Again, I don't know what these mean. We have 26 here, so I don't know if that's potentially a date of a new trailer or something. We have 151, which I guess could be the new po like the new amount of Pokemon in the game. We really don't know. That Honestly, there could be so many different things that this image here um, represents. And then we have people here saying start evolution typings. Uh, I mean, Dragon Rock Electri Electric would be dope, but I don't see these types with the current starters. So for the trios, um, oh, that's in a different language. I'm not sure what that says. Um, and then, okay, what I've gotten is Grass Electric for, obviously, Sprigatito. Fire Water for Coco, And then for Quoxley, Water Fighting. Starters. Number four is Dragon Dark. No idea. Um, number five is 151. Number six is 26. So he's kind of going through, like, the hints and stuff here. And new Mons and new Forms. Number seven, Garchomp. Number eight, Regirock. Number nine, Zekrom. Ties to Unova slash Sinnoh slash Pazio, which uh, I think that is the region of Pokemon Masters. Number 10, for, uh, Fist and Hearts, Icons on Cards, Grass and Water Starters by Pedal. Uh, a Pseudo Legendary, a Trio Legendary, and a Box Legendary. Also two Champions is what I'm making. Again, I didn't even think about that going into this. So yeah, like, multiple Champions could be a thing in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Honestly, it could mean absolutely anything. It's, it's crazy, crazy, crazy uh, kind of riddles to go over. Again, this all could just be April Fool's because obviously it is April the 1st today. But I don't think it is. I don't think they would have dropped all of this just for an April Fool's joke, to be fair, because this is quite interesting information. Anyway, this is the next tweet that they actually posted. So they quote tweeted the original tweet and then posted saying, totally 10 hints buried in this picture. All point to the early juicy exclusive information from me. Could you solve it? So yeah, there are 10 hints in this one image about Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. So again, it could be the start of secondary typings here being uh, ground, rock, and electric. It could be uh, something to do with these items. It could be to do with multiple champions. It could be, like I say, the 26th, 151. Um, it, it honestly could be anything. So this is obviously what people are saying. Um, I think he's onto something here. Different champs in each game. So also two champions and one in the making. That would be such a cool version exclusive. Like, I'm all for version exclusives, but I feel like they're really kind of pushing the boat out with version exclusives this year. We had quite a few in Pokemon Sword and Shield with like a couple of gym leaders and stuff like that. But we've already had a version exclusive for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet being the clothes that you're wearing uh, at the start of the game. Which, again, a lot of people are thinking are two different like schools or factions or something like that, which kind of already splits you up. So potentially we could have like a number of new gym leaders that are completely different in both games and then both games could have like a different champion as well which would be so so cool to see because i would love to see that um just i just want a bunch of version exclusives just to make it i don't know just to give there some be like some sort of point to play through both of the games um but yeah 10 hints in this picture alone again it could have something to do with the stars as well we really don't know uh, but these are some of the hints that obviously this person blaze and cinero has kind of posted so everything that i think is a hint but then again it is 1am in china um so again 
could be april fools because of the 1 a.m but yeah we have dragon i think that's dark up there we have this which i think is just a call to centro because it says centro after we have this as well with the hints with the starter typings 26 down here i think i've resolved the legendaries hint the two types at the top might be the secondary typings so that could be again the secondary typings of the legendaries and then we have this here which is a big kind of breakdown of this so this was by arnold who said riddleku recently posted this saying there were 10 hints Here's what I have so far trying to decipher it. So box legendaries being dragon and dark. Gen 9 here for the number 9. Fighting dragon electric. Start as second typing. And then we have gen 4, gen 9, gen 5. Titan Pokemon. So of course the Regis are Titans. And the code name for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet is Titan. So some people think we're getting like new um, Regis and stuff like that. And then main trainer theme is there. And then uh, 26 forms and evolutions. Didn't even think about that. Could be that actually more likely to be that. I doubt it's going to actually be like the date of a new trailer. But yeah, it could be 26 forms or evolutions. And then the decks could be 151 Pokemon. Like I say, I think this is a, uh, a massive kind of breakdown. I think this is definitely like on the cards here, 100%. Um, but yeah, 26 forms, 151 new Pokemon. Well, the yeah, I guess 151 new Pokemon or the regional decks being 151 um but yeah also could very much much well be the star typings and stuff like that and then we have similar lines to the sneedler as well so the sneedler obviously uh, i think they were fake i think the sneedler turned out to be fake to be fair um or, or like very very likely to be fake or something like that um but yeah we have uh, obviously soul silver Art potentially waiting for your analysis of these hints which we'll also cover as well i think soul silver Art's just kind of I don't know, making the threads and stuff as we speak. So we'll obviously cover all that. But yeah, that was the second kind of uh, big hint. And then the next one is a huge hint because he then posted saying, well, many fans are so far away from the truth because Riddler Koo basically takes a look at what everyone's kind of posting and then seeing if people are kind of getting close to the answer. And then they say, here's a simple one for your practice. So this was like a massive, massive hint. So obviously we have Decidueye here, Typhlosion and Samurai, which are the Hisuian starters, which kind of confirm that these are going to be the typings of the starters. So um, yeah, ground, rock and electric could very much potentially be the secondary typings of the starter pokemon in pokemon scarlet and violet which are really weird typings ground rock and electric um but we'll have to wait and see what happens um he says okay so the items are dark ghost fighting which is the dual typing of the hisuian starters so i'm assuming the earlier post is hinting the dual typing for the scarlet and violet starters which the items are fighting dragon and electric also i think the way they are lined up are deliberate and now that we have the first image we can match it with the hisuian counterpart so it would be water fighting fire dragon and grass electric okay i got that completely wrong i think they're talking about the items here and not um so i don't know what these are for then ground rock and electric i have no idea what those are for but yeah seemingly these are the typings i guess so yeah water fighting fire dragon grass electric um and then this is a shot of the hisuian starters right saying garchomp red rock and zekrom are hint towards final evolutions for the stars can't make any physical connection law based could also be a nod to the typing grass ground fire rock water electric so Sprigatito turns into Grass Electric, Fuego Coco Fire Dragon, and Coxley Water Fighting. So yeah, there's a lot of kind of um, discussion about these kind of hints now on what these um, starter typings mean. But yeah, seemingly that's what people are kind of agreeing on right now, being Water Fighting, Fire Dragon, Grass Electric, um, because this is obviously a massive hint. You kind of just have to compare the two images together um, to see what they say. So obviously this is the first image here, and then this is the second image. So the, the, obviously the things that change are the, the the items at the top and then obviously the placement of the um hisuian stars and stuff but i think it is something to do with the star revolution typings i think that is a massive again it could be april fools but i think that's a massive hint here just the fact that we have decidueye typhlosion and samurai here with these so um i don't know if these are like the held items or something for these pokemon i'm not really too sure i i, I don't play pokemon masters so i'm not really sure how they are like the layout looks and stuff but it seemingly is the start revolution typings. We also have this as well, which I think is like really, really distasteful. I don't know why he posted this. It says if, uh, if this were not Centro, then who would it be? Oh, I talk too much. Uh, I don't think you should be posting this kind of stuff, man. I think it's like ridiculously um, pathetic. Um, but yeah, he says, uh, come on, man. That's just a poor dog. Don't uh, use them to make fun of Centro. And then he's just, I don't know. He has the worst attitude ever, man. Like, yeah, he obviously knows leaks and stuff. But my God, his personality is just so toxic. 
Uh, this isn't funny. And then he says, you better keep your words, dude. Wait for the big slap in your face in a few months. Lol, when this tweet becomes a masterpiece. So yeah, I don't know if this is kind of a reference to a new Pokemon or anything, but I think it's super distasteful. I don't know why he's posted that. And then he finished things off by saying, that's all for this month. And don't forget to keep following my exclusive Pokemon Scarlet and Violet info, guys. Oh my god, I'm so generous that I can't believe I said that much just on the first day of April. The way he kind of tweets this out makes me think that it is an April Fool's, but I don't know. I, I don't. I, this is like big information. I think he'd lose a lot of credibility as well if he kind of just posted for April Fool's and stuff. Um, but yeah, that's basically all of the new hints towards Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. Um, so again, obviously take it with a grain of salt, but you know, obviously he's been right about so much stuff in the past. We think it's about Star Evolution type things, but again, it could be completely different. Either way, though, that is going to be everything for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to drop a like down below. Let's try and hit 500 likes. It really helps out. Leave a comment with your thoughts on anything we covered in today's video. What are your thoughts on the hints and stuff? Let me know. Subscribe if you're brand new. Uh, that's everything from me, though. Have a fantastic rest of your day. And until next time, peace.